Last and final topic. So, followers of a religious sect were filmed shouting homophobic slurs on the streets of London. Men identified as a f- part of the fringe church of Yahawashi. I can't, Yahawashi, I think. Mm. An offshoot of the Hebrew black, black Israelites uploaded footage of their preaching in Dalston, East London. As members of the public walked by, one of the preachers tells the camera, we just come out of a restaurant and we had two faggots in there that we had to... Oh, I'm not allowed to say that maybe Too on late. YouTube. Too late. We had two gay people that they call with the name of faggots. That's in the article, though, so it's not me calling. Yeah, but YouTube's um, algorithm doesn't recognize that. So this... But guys, okay, I'm, sh- I'm sorry. I forgot. Guys, I forgot. Sh- this video is going to get deprioritized. So please share our videos because nobody's going to see our videos. But yeah, share, because share. I cursed. Yeah, share it's our videos. It's my video. fault. It's okay. No, no. Okay. Just share our videos. So, okay, go ahead. Uh, we had two F words in there to keep eyes on them because certain brothers, all of the brothers, we don't like the F word that people use to negatively describe gay people. Some brothers reserve their comments because they want to be doing the slaying. Really, they want to put a sword to you. At What? the suggestion that they wanted to slaughter gay people or that they would slaughter gay people, Other men in the group shouted, that's right, and preach. Wow. So they're actively out in the streets and telling that they're going to, like, stab, like... Kill gay, gay people. Kill gay people with a sword? So how are they not arrested? That's a, like, is that arrestable offense? I don't know. Well, a... apparently in London or in England, some of this could elevate to the level of uh, hate speech crime. Mm. So that was part of the discussion about... So they're not even arrested. So, the, so in London, you can say like, oh, I don't like, you know, Islam is a violent religion and the police is going to show up at your door. Or you could like have some opinions about transgender stuff and you're going to be going to get a call from the police. But if you're a black Israelite wanting to run, a, run a sword through gay people... Like, oh, this might be a hate crime. <laughs> this might be mm-hmm. a hate crime. We're not sure yet. Let's, let, we'll get back to you on that. Like, oh, my God. So, by the way, for the people that don't know, the black Israelites think, like, the Jewish people uh, are not really Jewish because Jewish people are black. So, it's really mm-hmm. hard. So, and they have a lot of, they're very, ant- so it's very confusing for some people because are they considered anti-Semitic or not? Because they are very, very ag- aggressively hateful towards the people that we consider Jews. So in that sense, they're anti-Semitic, anti-Jewish. But at the same time, maybe they're not anti-Jewish because they think they are the Jews and they don't hate themselves. So are they anti-Jewish? Or, uh, they're anti the real Jews and they're not <laughs> anti themselves, which they think that the fake Jews. Right. So well, they so most of these black Hebrew Israelites were started in the United States in the late 19th century by two guys, Frank Cherry and Son, uh, William Saunders Crawley. And I've dealt with them quite a bit because my in my degree is in Pan-African studies. And there's quite a number of them in our local Pan-African studies group. Right. And they have this uh, most of them are Americans, but they have offshoots all over. And they believe that they, along with like. Native Americans and sometimes um, natives to Latin America um, are the true descendants of the Israelites. Right. And they adhere to some Jewish and some Christian traditions, and then they make some of their own stuff up. And uh, some of them are like basically black supremacists, kind of like the opposite side of the white supremacy. And they believe that Jews are imposters And um, there's a really violent sect called Nation of Yahweh, which was started in Miami in 1979 by this guy who calls himself called himself Yahweh Ben Yahweh, which means God, son of God. Yeah. But th- he died in 2007. But yeah, they're very anti-Semitic. And a lot of the anti-Semitic attacks that have happened in New York City at the end of the year and, and um, beginning of this month, quite a number of them were perpetrated against um members of the Jewish community by members of this black Hebrew Israelite community. Yeah, this this would get a lot more attention if these people were white. 
would I f like if the alt right thing like if these people the ant the anti gay like if imagine if like a, a bunch of white people were in the streets and saying that we're gonna run swords through gay people um, and say like I don't know what else we're going to uh, there's have such anti semitic comments I, this would this would be picked up by so many news outlets. And I think a lot of people are shying away from covering black Israelites uh, and a lot of these are not even counted in like alt as alt right like right wing bigotry or any you know hate crimes or stuff because they're black right and I think it's so unfair that you know that they get this level of protection just because of the color of their skin it's really unfair uh, just, yeah I yeah I was just gonna say I you know I've had a lot of run-ins with them and um i have found it very difficult to get anyone very few people to support me or to acknowledge that the things that they're saying are anti-semitic right and you know a lot of people just really and it doesn't have to be black people white people all kinds of people um but also it's really common for people anybody to say to tell any people or of Jewish descent or who are practicing Jews that what they feel is anti-Semitism isn't. So right. that's also a big thing. That's very, you know, everyone else gets to define it except for the Jews. The Jews. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's interesting. So they, you're an, you're a Jewish person, ex Jew or Jew, whatever. Uh -huh. uh, and people tell you that this is not anti-Semitic. So, and you give like, okay, sure, whatever. Um, but <laughs> Vape Hub is saying, why don't religious people object to homosexual activities in animals? They don't understand that homosexuality is, is natural. I actually don't like that defense of homosexuality because a lot of people say homosexuality is natural and it's in nature. To me, is like, even if it wasn't natural, um, if you're not hurting anybody, just do whatever you enjoy. Like, yeah, I understand homosexuality is natural. It's, there's, you know, it's genetics. You don't choose it. But imagine if we lived in a world that you did choose it. Like, you woke up one day and you wanted to be gay. Go. What? What's wrong with that? Just because it was, if it was, even if it was a choice, it would still be okay. You're not hurting anybody, right? So even if it was natural, like riding a plane is not natural. Me talking to you guys across the planet is not natural. We don't have a problem with that. Yeah, so, but yeah, I see your point. Chris is saying, uh, during slavery, people justified slavery by claiming that the blacks were the ones cursed by God, a belief that still lives on uh, even today. Vibrantly saying, I think considering oneself uh, better than any other race is racist, even if you're discriminated against yourself, and I find it wrong. Yeah. Uh, I agree. Yeah. And actually, uh, Rivka, I consider Jewish the Jewish religion as a race supremacist religion uh, because it, it considers Jewish people to be like the chosen people and superior to others. Would you agree with that char characterization of the Jewish well, religion? I think it's tribe supremacy, you know, because Jews are all, there's Jews everywhere, you know. The only thing all Jews have in common is the Torah, right? They all have different nationalities. Different that's today, but originally... Right, then, but so that's, they were a tribe, right? And then they went out. So yeah, I think it's tribe supremacy, and you're right. They're chosen, they're special, God picked them. I mean, that's big um, in right. the discussion. So, and mm. so some of the discussion will be like, well, why do we have all these rules, or why is it like this, or we're like that? And it's sort of this idea, well... Because you need to do what you're told to do because God chose you. Right. So don't ask questions. You're chosen. So a lot of people get offended when I compare the Jewish religion to white supremacy. <laughs> uh, but I do. I mean, it's, I don't know. It's, there's think, definitely a level of that. And there's such a level of misogyny, too. I mean, I yeah. don't know if people are familiar with the first prayer a very, very religious Jewish man says upon waking, you know, first he goes through the washing his hands. Thank you, God, for commanding me to do this, commanding me to do that. But those are just sort of the thank yous. When right. he gets to his first prayer, he says, thank you for not making me born a woman. Right. Uh, Vape, I was saying. So it's both. Yeah. 
Weber was saying, hmm, this is a fair point, com what, referring to what I was saying before. Shubham was saying, I get what you're saying, what you mean, like, regarding my what I was saying, it doesn't matter if it's natural. So Shubham is saying, I get what you mean, and I think the same. However, saying it's not a problem, even if it was a choice, is going to face even more backlash than they already face now. I don't think so. I think, like, you're saying, like, hey, look, it's natural, but who are you hurting? Like, tell me, what, show me the harm. If you can't show me the harm, there's nothing wrong with it. I think that's a more consistent way of, you know, um, I don't know, I disagree. I think it works. It works for me when I, when I keep demanding people to show me the harm and they can't. I think that's an effective strategy. Uh, Dave is saying, uh, okay, so th this is in response to the headline. The headline was, hate preachers film threatening to slaughter gay people on the streets of London in broad daylights. Uh, is okay it's interesting i said hate preachers and it said doesn't say black israelites or something like that because if this were white supremacists it will probably start with white supremacists right but yeah anything to help the minority poor minority groups dave is saying now flip the script what do you think would happen if any non-believer said similar thing about theists they would be at least immediately arrested at worst shot on sight Oh, well, I don't know about that, but okay. Uh, Ian is saying, wait. Ian is saying, allowed to do so because all religions is now protected in the UK and they are merely exhibiting the teachings of their religious texts. Yeah, this is a mix of black, you know, privilege and religious privilege. Uh, and you wouldn't get the same privilege if you were a Christian, by the way, in the United Kingdom. Stephen is saying, to be fair, those aren't... Those are natty aprons? Natty aprons? So he's making fun of the, ap the, uh, the clothing that the black Israelites are wearing. <laughs> I met these people. I mean, another thing is that these... Okay, so in defense of this not getting attention, these guys are so wacky that it's hard to even take them seriously. You know what I mean? Like, but they And they're small minority too. Yeah, but they do commit a lot of hate crimes. Like they do, mm -hmm. like a lot of attacks on the Jews are by these people. Anyway, vibrantly is saying, uh, "Wash his hands, praises God. He's not a girl." Worst punchline of twenty twenty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, that was good. Well, you know what? I wanted to make a comment about the lack of anything really happening i mean the only discussion in the article was that these rights groups were saying you know this is really bad and that this may rise to the level of hate speech and we've been watching them and we've told the authorities about them but that's it yeah. They were not even asked to leave the corner. I mean, no police showed up and said, all right, guys, take a hike. Right. Even, you know, I mean, yeah, see, like as when far I, as I know, that might have happened, but we just don't know about it. But it's not in the article. See, when I, yeah, when I say Islam is evil, they say, oh, it's a hate crime. But when these people say they want to run through swords through gay people, they're like, this might be a hate crime. But again, I think these, 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 um, these groups, the, these anti-hate groups, are scared of going after black Israelites. Like, they don't know what, like, they're, like, trying to test the waters. Like, can we actually say negative stuff about these guys? They're black. Like, we're supposed to protect the black blacks, right? So, that's why they're well, afraid. The right, they're afraid. They're very afraid to talk about them. And that was a lot of the commentary that was happening around all these attacks in New York City right. against different people in the Jewish community. And some of the things that people said were actually racist comments yes. having nothing to do with these people and their, you know, um, ideology. But then some people were shut down from discussing it because they were, um, you know, a quote-unquote marginalized community. And then some discussion actually blamed the Jews for moving into their neighborhoods or for trying to be in there. So it's their fault that they should kind of expect this. So it ran the gamut. Wow. But a lot of it was a lot of leftists saying, you know, you can't talk about their ideology. That's not, wow. you can't do that. Don't be such a hateful person by criticizing them for wanting to run swords through gay people. 
Okay. Right. That's good. I wonder if they or would have kill a, Jews or whatever. I wonder if they would have the same criteria if they were white supremacists. I would imagine, oh, absolutely imagine, not. Imagine if we went to the to like some of these leftists again. Hashtag not all leftists, but some of these woke types. Imagine if they were like, "Oh my God, white supremacists are rising in Europe. We need to do something about it." Imagine if I went to them and be like, "Look, this is their belief. You have to respect their belief. <laughs> you can't <laughs> st stop being so hateful against white supremacists. Everybody can believe and practice the ideas that they have." Like imagine they would be like, "What?" the hell what's wrong with you right like they, they would call you a white supremacist uh, yeah. oh so you're a white supremacist right well, exactly. and <laughs> your point to white supremacy is so true because when a lot of these attacks happen in the u.s right. everybody immediately went to white supremacy and then everyone yes was like, they're black Israelites. They're African Americans. They're not white. Yet, and people were freaked out about that. And then some people had a delete tweets. I think maybe yeah. Rashida Tlaib was one of them, the congresswoman. I could be wrong on that one. And then every time they would discuss it, they would say, "Yes, there've been these attacks by this group called the Black Israelites, but mostly it's the whites. But it's the whites. They would just yeah. circle back around." To so the how is that not racist? That's the real how is problem. that not See, okay, so if somebody like somebody said like, oh, somebody stole my bike, right? And then I assume that they're black. I'm a racist, right? If I just assume they must be black, oh, they, your bike was stolen, right? So how is it not racist when they're like, oh, these are anti-Semite, anti-Jewish people. And then you start tweeting like, oh my God, white supremacy. So you assume that they're white. So you're the racist one here now because you assume that if somebody is a being an anti-Semite, they must be white, right? So you guys are the racists here. And it's, and you're right. A lot of people that when you point out like, actually, you guys are wrong. These were not white supremacists. They're actually black. And other people are like, well, it might be true, but white supremacy is still the bigger problem here. Like some people deleted They're black it. supremacists is what they are. Yeah, they are <laughs> black supremacists, right? So, but they, some people, some people deleted their tweets, but a lot of people didn't back down. We're like, well, yeah, this is nothing compared to white supremacy. Like they wanted to. They didn't say like, oh my God, I just assumed this. I shouldn't have. That's not fair. Like they didn't. Like it's such a hypocrisy. Oh my God. Anyways, mm -hmm. anyways I'm going to get very angry. I don't know if YouTube is going to, okay. You, YouTube, this video is completely, like we talked about killing gay people. We talked about killing Jewish people. Uh, we so, had two, Kurt, two bad words. Two bad words. So this video is not going to make it anywhere. We, obviously, we're going to get demonetized, but we everything, all our videos get demonetized. So that's not an issue. The real issue is that we get the deprioritize that means like we're not going to show up in people's feed we're not going to show be sure that our videos are not going to be shown and recommended even people that are subscribed to us are sometimes not seeing our videos so that's the real problem that we have with youtube because they don't like us so please share our videos because youtube is not letting our channel grow that's you know that's how channels grow the channels grow and not because you're posting it on Facebook or Twitter stuff is because you show up in other people's recommended recommended section and we don't get that as much as we're supposed to be like if we weren't talking about controversial stuff so we really need you guys to share our videos so please do it vibrantly send us a super chat thank you so much vibrantly saying look into the New York uh, riot in 1977 black anti-Jewish mob killed two in, killed two and injured 100 and 90. Thank you so much, Vibrantly. Thank you so much for the super chat. Very, 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 very kind. That's a uh, oh, and Vibrant is, is saying it's calling the 1977 blackout. All right, love you guys. Thank you for everything. Thank you, see Thank you, Thank you Rivka. I don't know how we do this without you. You're, you saved our. You saved us. Even though I yeah. rustled some papers and used two bad words, I'm going to try not to. No, it's okay. <laughs> I'm, don't get upset if I tell you that, okay? That's right. No, but you... you I'm do, just kidding. Yeah. I'm just kidding. But you do so much research on every... New, like, our the value added on our videos have become so much more because the amount of background research you do when, on our videos. So thank you for that. Yeah. Thanks. All right. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, 
cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.